Hello everybody. Welcome to Just Laravel. Here we are going to discuss about custom authentication in Laravel. Sign in, sign up. Custom sign in, sign up. Yeah, custom authentication in Laravel. As you see here, by default, Laravel consists of two authentication controllers, auth controller and password controller. Actually, if you see the roots, those roots would look like this. Auth login, auth logout, auth register, and these are those controllers here. Actually, if you want to log in, you have to type the URL, website URL, then auth slash login slash logout slash register. This don't seems pretty good here. You have to do something like this. Actually, what we are going to do here is we are actually something like let's see the demo here. To be something like this, a model. We are going to use a W3 CSS model here. The, when we click this button, it will appear this functionality: sign in and sign up functionality. This is the form. You can use the username, username, password, email, sign in functionality. This is the form. Actually, yeah. What we actually do is first create a own custom form this is all the code this function before we go through the code we'll just see how it works here sign in and sign up we're going to sign up here with some email actually this post doesn't contain any validations see we have made another post for validation that will be seen here but first we'll look at this here how it works We'll first sign up. Uh, we are going to enter a sample fictitious email. We will type example dot example at the rate of example dot com. We'll go some username as. Exam example user some random password you'll go a a a a a a success a a a a a a success yeah sign up actually sign up see your first click on sign in sign up on the right side of the navigation bar you have clicked it. Click on the sign up tab and click details and click sign up. Then click it. It will return to your home page. Now again, click sign in sign up link in the right side of the navigation bar. Click sign in tab and your details which you entered while signing up and click login. Okay. You enter here. Sign in here. Username is. Username what we are given is exe example user. Yeah, this is the one. Password we are given is six. S yeah 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 yeah. See this. Welcome example user logout. This is how the functionality will work. Click logout. It will again return to the home page. Actually, here we don't have any authentication, so we can give this. We can sign up like this. You can give any username one two three star star percentage. You can give session characters. Password can be at any length. Gen four is here. Gen four is here. You need to sign up. You need to sign up with this with the validation. So we create and we have done a new demo with validation here. And if you click sign up here, you can enter some random email and username with this one and number, some special characters, password with some very few letters, three characters, and then if you click sign up, it shows us with a bunch of errors. The email must be a valid email address. The name may contain only letters and numbers. 
the password must be at least six characters. The password confirmation does not match. These are the values I made. You can make uh, any validation which you wish. So the email should be a valid one at the rate of some email.com. It should contain only letters and numbers. So what we give is exj mbl example user two mm, cannot example user two yeah you can add numbers password will have six letter password one two three four five six all yes one two three four five six all yes now we'll sign up remember here the username is example two click sign up button um I uh, sign in with this. I uh, example user two. No uh, same password. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you log in, you can see welcome example user two. This is how it basically works. That is what I have given here. And if you go to um, go through the um, code part, I will explain it clearly here. This is a uh, home page. Here we'll have three links, menu links, as you see here. Home. Actually, I change this. You can have this by using thousand. This is actually in my host, so I am I kept up the under two menu items just laravel.com demo song. And this is locally, yeah. We'll have some two sample links, sample these, so we don't consider. But just see here if we have is session dot get name. If there is a value for a name, then we'll then we'll show this part. Welcome that name and a logout button. What actually we saw when we sign up here. Welcome the name and the slot and logout button. And if mm, there is else, that means there is no, there is nothing, there is no one signed in. We'll show just sign in sign up button. That is about this this part. This is the mod part. This is the sign in sign up button which we see initially. This one, this button. And if you click that, see what happens. On click document dot get everybody authentication. So if you click that. I'll go to this one authentication. In this authentication this is simply a W3 model as we see in here. This is all the code for W3 models. And if you see here, this is the part sign in and sign up. Yeah. These are two buttons. When we click sign in, it will go to the function open form with a parameter login. And we click sign up, it will go to the same function open form with parameter register. We'll see this what happens later, but now this is the basically the login part, login function, login form something. Like this here we just displays the errors, display the errors which we have got, and this is the form, username, password, and this form action is login method is post. And this is something, this is the model thing, and this is register part. This is for showing the errors email, username, password, confirm password. This action is register, method is post. Mm, simply, this all comes with the model script when you. When you go here, W3 CSS here. We'll see W3 CSS models, some model. This is what we have done simply. This is all the, um, that code here. We have combined models with them. This one. We combined models with tabs. Actually, a model. This is a model and when you open model we see tabs we combine this both and that too in tabs we have kept a form this, this is the model 
and this is the tabs and this is from a combined three of these models tabs and forms whatever it is here sir and if you go to the controller part as you see if when we click login it um, the function right here is action is login so in the roots file if you see post login it will go to main controller login register it will go to this uh, this function register function it will go to logger function first see what happens when you go to login just login first we have we have make some rules so that what are this is we have username and password are required so when we enter without username and password it shows an error validator fails it will return back with errors these are the errors if we enter if you enter some username and password we will check those with the in the database with the username and password this is the auth attempt function default comes with an error name request or get username it will check if um, there is present in the session we uh, keep that name keep that name in the keep the name in the session and return back else we return a message with invalid credentials please try again that's what happens with the login part and then it goes to register part these are the roles email should be required it should be unique it should be email so validation uh, valid it valid it validates the email here this part this single this part for name it should be it should be unique it should it is required it, is, it should contain only alpha numeric characters and it should be minimum of four and four letters these are the functions and pass it to minimum checks and it should be confirmed these are the rules i made you can it is up to your wish you can make any rules here same here if um, the validation fails it returns with errors else we'll save this user will save those details in the database table and for session and for logout will session flash auth logout read back we'll do these functions these are the code basically works these are the demos here and i've also made and i also made this project available on github Custom authentication with validation. Yeah, this is the project here. You can use this project, clone this project. After cloning, you have to install Composer, install Composer update. If you don't have Composer, you have to install Composer too. Then you have to change the database credentials in .env file by renaming .env example file. Then you have to generate a key, then migrate. Then all set to go. You have to run the command php artisan serve here. php artisan serve so that the command will be done successfully. That's all. That's it about this post. Thank you for watching. See you again. Goodbye.